and Mark Stewart is all the way in Georgetown. And Mark, it was also a traffic nightmare earlier today, but things are looking up, looking better. That is the hope, Sally. You know, if you're heading to the mountains tonight, be prepared for changing conditions. Right now, we're in a bit of a lull. The snow has kind of died down. There is still some wind, and it is still very cold, but that changes really minute by minute. It has been a long day for anyone trying to head west. It's a symbol of the changing seasons heading to the Colorado high country. What do you think of this weather? Oh, I don't like it. The snow meant slow going heading west. This is what we saw in Georgetown. I-70 came to a stop after a fatal crash near Silverthorne. <laughs> David Lukens is trying to get to Salt Lake City. It's cold. Came all at once. And it's pretty slippery. And it's pretty dangerous out here. The weather here in Georgetown has changed quickly. Yesterday, it was in the 60s. Today, it's dropped below 30. The sudden snow made driving treacherous as soon as you pass Evergreen, forcing a slowdown in some places for the first time this season. It's gorgeous. I'm excited that there's finally snow. Yeah, we sure need the moisture, but uh, leave the moisture in the rivers. So it's certainly challenging where we are here in Georgetown. The wind is starting to pick up a bit, but as you go through the tunnel, also expect tough conditions. CDOT reporting really treacherous roads, especially near Vail, all day long. We are live at Georgetown tonight. Mark Stewart, Denver 7. Mark, thank you. Sally, thank you as well.